Hello, hello. Today I'm doing my February wrap up. Um, and yeah, so let's dive into it. Um, I did, um, I've got lots of challenges going on this year. So I've got the blog audit challenge, which is one that I created myself. Um, which I've been doing for a few years now and it's all about um, doing a blog audit basically so each month has different tasks where you're tackling different aspects of your blog just to improve them and in general and stuff and it's great because the, the whole community with everyone joining in there's monthly week uh, monthly link ups um, so you can join in and share your progress and stuff um, but anyway uh, February challenges was dedicated to the legal aspect Blogging. So updating all the um, disclosure statements on blog um, and the legal pages, so terms and conditions and, and privacy and all that kind of stuff. So did those, oh and the disclaimer page as well, very important because there's often lots of updates done um, and so it's important to make sure you're covered basically. So that's what was happening with that one. Then I'm also doing the social media audit challenge this year. Um, again, this is one which I added in. This is the first year doing this one. Um, but it's to basically just improve general overall social media presence. Make sure you're more on brand and you're sharing the right things and giving across the right messages and that you don't have anything that is damaging your brand at the same time. So. Um, the February focus was on cleaning up your online presence. Okay, so um, basically going through and working out the different accounts that you have um, and which ones you use and which ones you don't use because there's no point in having one if you don't use it. So um, yeah, stuff like MySpace. Still had one of those. So, yeah, it's just like cleaning up basically the overall thing. Also because there's no point in having a, um, a profile that can be hacked and therefore can, um, you know, do damage to your brand. Um, you, you're never going to use it. So yeah, it was all about cleaning up that and then looking at the ones that you are keeping and making sure that you're treating them right, basically. Um, so there was that. And then we did the clock reading challenge if you can see that my lovely graphic for that oh you got a little glimpse of it there with my i'm starting to fill up now so i've got two books on there because january i read one tequila by trisha malley and for two in um february's book i read between two thieves by solomon carter so um yeah making good progress there um, nicely on track and then we have the A to Z challenge which I'm doing this year which is starting to fill up nicely um, as well so I had for A I've got a second hand lie for B between two thieves um, for K I've got keep you close um, for O one tequila for Q queen of someday for S shopaholic on honeymoon and for Y you saw too much. So I'm doing quite well. I like how it's progressing and how all the little spaces are filling up for the letters there. Um, hopefully March will be even better and I can take some more off of that as well. But I'm really pleased. And also because overall the books that I'm reading um, have actually all been quite good. There's not um, been any standout amazing book yet I've yet to give a five star um, but then you know it has to be pretty good to get a five star so uh, yeah there's that they're not um, I think the average is like a three star is what I'm going at at the moment for the books that I've read so far this year but anyway, I'm quite happy with that because my, um, although I didn't read like loads of books in February, um, I am nicely on track with my challenges and February is a shorter month as well. So, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm hoping to have a uh, more productive March. Um, 
so far I'm off to a good start with that so yeah it's not bad I just want to check on Goodreads just to make sure what was the highest rating I gave I think it was the four star for one tequila is the highest stars that I've given so far yeah out of the books that I've read so far this year I've got two four stars one is you saw too much which I and um, the second is one tequila um, so they got four stars and all of the rest so far have had three stars okay so not bad not bad reading um, I'm quite happy with it so far like I said I'm hoping that um, March and all the months that come after it um, will be super productive uh, reading months as well so yay so far so good anyway that's it for today thanks for watching um, are you on track with your reading challenges are you even doing reading challenges this year um, if you are then let me know what ones they are down below also if you want to take part in the clock reading challenge um, you could still start that you know it doesn't have to be because it's only one book for each month of the year because you've got to do the clock so it's only 12 book total in the year so you could totally catch up um, and you know still complete your clock because you know we're only on the third month now so it could do three months to do it but it's really cool seeing the actual clocks come up and I would, I'm dying to see what everyone else's clocks are going to look like at the end of the challenge as well so uh, anyway that's it for today thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye